Hey guys, this is Roblox user, and today we'll be studying frames in our, th you know, multiple step process into getting into GUIs. So, if you guys didn't know, a screen GUI frame is sort of like a model in Roblox, if you guys are familiar with models. Basically, a model is a way of grouping a bunch of bricks together, right? And a frame also resembles to a book, you know? A GUI frame is sort of like the binding of a book. It holds, a book holds all the pages, and a GUI frame holds a number amount of screen GUIs, buttons, images, stuff like that. And it comes to be very useful, and our next video on GUI buttons will probably, you know, clear a lot of the questions you might have about why we use frames. And it's sim simply easy, so this is processing how to make it. Okay, so you're gonna, go, you're gonna highlight starter GUI, insert object, and you're gonna find screen GUI. Right here. We all we always need that when creating a screen GUI. It's just a good way of classifying. So you're gonna get the screen GUI, highlight it, and then you're going to go to frame right here. Now frame is visible, so you can customize it any colors you want. So we'll just customize it however we want. Of course, the size. So here we are, we have our frame in the corner. Yeah, it's starting to look like a regular screen grid now, isn't it? Okay. So, position as well. We want it 100, maybe. So it's, it's that big. Usually, screen GUIs are made for like game guides and stuff, you know? So, so we have our. This is basically like the background. It's the background of our game guide, as opposed as you want to call it. So in the frame, we just highlight it. Now we can add anything we want. We can add. We'll just add a couple text labels, which can be used for text. Or, you know, whatever you want. Create that to be black, and a border color. Maybe something that contrasts with the. So. We'll Red, yeah. Okay. Size is important. You always want to do size first so we know where we're going to put the screen good. Okay, so we have it here in the corner. Whenever you create a text label or image button or whatever inside the frame, it'll always pop up in the frame rather than in the corner because everything's put inside the frame and not inside the whole screen of your game. Alright? So let's just customize it however we want. So I'll just kind of play around with this. got that. Now you can add more. Just click on frame again, insert object and another text label or you can add a text box or a text button. Text box aren't really used unless you're gonna do like a chat kind of thing. Or like you know all the chat messages get put into this own little chat box. You know? I'm sure you've seen those before, but you know just text label or image label and just add another one and customize it the same way. We want. If you guys are completed and you guys know what to do, then you guys are basically done. Create whatever you want. However you like it. Alright. So you have that. Now, then our next step process will be creating buttons. 
and that process will be like creating a button that will open this frame when you click it you know? and without the frame if you were to click the button it would only open one of these three GUIs that I've put on the screen and that's why you have a frame so when you click the button everything will pop up at once because it's all grouped into one thing which is why you need frames which are very useful then you just you know you name it whatever alright I think you guys are doing good <laughs>